What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan So today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual um, because basically I had a bit of a mishap yesterday uh, I bought a new uh, camera stabiliser like a gimbal, a DJI OM4 and I figured it'd be really simple and easy and intuitive to use but actually I had nothing but trouble with it and a lot of the shots that I'd planned on getting didn't come out so basically what I want to do in this video is I'll tell you about my trip yesterday and then I'll put some clips in so you can see what I'm talking about so yesterday my friend and I, my friend Ludo and I uh, went for a ride to a place called Hikone Castle which is in Shiga Prefecture in Japan and um, basically we just went on for a, for a bit of sightseeing more than anything a bit of a, it was nice weather yesterday like it is today so we just thought we'd go for a longer ride than usual um, now the, the trip, the route that I'd planned for the trip involved some really awesome looking mountain roads but when we got to the entrance of the roads they were still closed due to the, the sort of like winter restrictions even though there's not a single bit of snow up there um, in their infinite wisdom the Japanese Ministry of Transport or whatever decided not to open them yet so we had to take many many detours and it was kind of annoying um, but one of the funny things is when we got to uh, one of my favourite roads, the Kurakake Pass, that was also closed um, there was a security system in place which we think is for scaring animals rather than people but it had, um, it had first of all it had bear noises, then it had wolf noises, then it had gunshot noises and then finally like a police siren that just went on and on in really really loud speaker so we found that pretty freaking hilarious <laughs> That's brilliant! Warning you to do not enter the road. Don't enter the road or you'll get shot. Then when we got to the other side of the road by a bunch of shortcuts, um, that gate was closed as well, but this time we were really determined to, to get in and ride it and just, you know, like basically bust in. So we moved the concrete blocks that were blocking it and we moved all the steel fences and stuff like that. And then I tried to get my bike in. Nope. Nah, too tight. But yeah, that totally didn't work. I couldn't get my bike in because the, the foot pegs and the handlebars were too wide. So that was a bummer. So from that point on in the journey I followed Ludo on his S1000 RR and he just gave me constant heart attacks <laughs> with his, I wouldn't say dodgy, but his rather, uh, well what's a good word for it, his overtakes basically scared me on the corners that I didn't think were particularly overtakeable corners so I had a heart attack pretty much the whole way to the castle. But anyway, we got to the castle around lunchtime and uh, got ourselves a, a special tourist ticket, I think because we're foreign. So basically it cost us a thousand yen to get in and then at the end of it, when we left, we could use a coupon to buy a thousand yen worth of souvenirs. So basically it cost nothing. Um, but the castle itself was, I don't know, somewhat disappointing. Nice castle nice castle so we finally reached Hikone castle yes and behind us yeah, behind yeah. Us, yeah. Uh, Hikone castle anything else to that it's white it's white yeah it's, it's got nice big. yeah it's, well, nice uh, woodwork on it nice woodwork yeah the staff are friendly yeah, yeah 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 but you have to take your shoes off and you have to walk out lots of steps yeah and wear a mask sometimes and wear a mask sometimes mm. yeah that's it. So as with the COVID days that we live in, we had to wear masks and wash our hands and for some reason we had to take our shoes off everywhere, every different room we went to in the castle. 
but um, basically inside the castle there was nothing really to do or look at it was all empty rooms it's uh, literally this is just a room and that's all it is there's nothing in here except windows yep it's not very interesting <laughs> so Ludo was getting wood for the wood which is quite nice looking I must say and uh, when we um, met uh, like a tour guide lady we asked her what the deal was why did they cut the wood like this and she said uh, back in the day it was sort of seen as like a, a signature so that you'd know um, which person it was that had made the wood so they all had their sort of individual cutting style so this guy I can't remember the name she said but he used to cut it and put these kind of like round marks into the wood as his sort of signature What's Teppo Zama? Uh, maybe they would put their rifle or pistol or the kind of uh, gun they had at the time yeah. and they used to shoot mm. through the Teppo Zama. Teppo Zama. It's very phallic. Well, how come they're triangular? Ah, they want to put their guns that's a, that's in something. Good, good question. Because that's I don't think English castles have got triangle written, ones. Yeah, written, yeah. Ah. Because it looks like a pussy, he says. In order to not be seen, yeah. I know. Sotogawa. 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 Ni? I don't know. I'm not sure about that. That means pussy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's an idea. Yeah. Ho, hame kabe ga nute aru no de. That means pussy as well. Uh, thin uh, 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 clitoris. Thin, thin aida. Thin uh, uh, space. Okay. So maybe soto or soto. It looks like a thin space. Ah. And from inside, you can move that way, that way, and that way. Ah, the I meaning see. Of that. Now the hold up. Okay, and then the only one thing that I learned really about the construction of the castle was something that I'd read uh, online. Okay, don't worry about looking for me. Something that I'd read online, which was about how the bridge, the you know, like the the entrance into the castle. The legs are made of a certain type of wood and cut or constructed in a certain way so it makes it really easy to burn them so that you can effectively if you're under under siege you can burn the legs and then the bridge will fall down and people won't be able to get in um, so yeah that's the only <laughs> in, the only thing that I found interesting about the whole day all right so Ludo I learned something today that I can teach you oh tell me see the the, the legs on the bridge yeah, so these legs, ah, these legs yeah. they're, they're, yeah. they're made so that they can be burned easily oh. and then the bridge will be collapsed Damn. and then the bad guys, the invaders can't get in to the castle. Oh, wow. wow. That's, that's, that's my interesting fact of the day. That's stunning. Yeah. Very, very smart. Would you like to, would yeah, you like yeah. to thank me? <laughs> <laughs> then later on in the afternoon when we were searching for more interesting roads to try and get home on a good a good route um, we turned into this tiny little road that ended up being a dirt track so we had to turn around but I saw a tanuki which is the first time I've ever seen one which is like a, a Japanese raccoon so that's the first time I've ever seen one of those oh a tanuki tanuki oh, I've never seen one before I've never seen one before! So the roads themselves were pretty cool. Uh, we enjoyed some pretty high speed roads, some pretty low speed roads, lots of corners. But um, that the area we're in, there was signs on the road saying uh, from this point on uh, snow chains are ob obligatory. So don't enter this road unless you've got snow chains. Which again we thought was kind of stupid because it's you know nearly April and there is literally no snow anymore. But um, Ludo basically said, like, yeah, this is the law, so uh, if we see any police cars or police bikes, we got to leg it, okay? So I agreed to that, and uh, yeah, onto the road we went. So I tried to take lots of cool shots with the, uh, the Osmo, but didn't get too many, too many good shots that I was hoping for, so I need to get a bit more practice with that, that um, stabilizer. 
but uh, here's some of the clips that I did manage to get which aren't terrible right yeah like I said we had a good day and towards the evening uh, Ludo said to me do, you want, do I want to have a go on his, on his BMW so I jumped to the chance and I was just amazed at the speeds you can do on that thing it's even comfortable like the suspension is nice and soft um, the gearbox is just amazing the quick shift is so nice and the engine just feels it feels like light it feels like it wants to rotate quickly it just feels like it's a really really sweet engine i don't think it's for me but in the say 10 or 15 minutes i rode it i got the bike up to four times the speed limit so let's just put it at that Right guys so that is just a little bit of a mashup from yesterday due to me failing so badly at making videos so next time i'm going to get a bit more practice in with my new dj dj ah i can't say that dji om4 and then hopefully i'll be able to get some nice videos of touring some castles and other tourist spots in japan all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye for now